by Rama, fifth between horses. Wine Princess in sixth. And then hard to resist toward the inside. Amaliant going to angle toward the center of the track. Still 10 lengths off the lead. Quarter mile to come. Sisterly Love, the one to catch. Leading hard not to like by three lengths. Amaliant unleashing a furious rally along with Summer Applause. Summer Applause and Amaliant from the outside. These two come to the front together. Amaliant to the lead. Amaliant from the back of the pack. She was away slowly. Final furlong of the Judd Mott Spinster. Slow start. No problem. She wins it. Amaliant for Mike Smith with a huge run in this grade one. Winner circle for the featured eighth race at Keeneland, the 58th running of the grade one Judd Mott Spinster. A win and you're in for the Breeders' Cup Challenge Series for the Ladies' Classic Division 5 Amaliant. Owned by Judd Mott Farms Incorporated of Khalid Abdullah, who bred the winner in Kentucky. Trained by Bill Mott and Mike Smith, the winning jockey. Amaliant, a three-year-old empire maker filly out of soothing touch by Touch Gold. Front-stepping fashion here in the spring to win the Ashland and rallies from well off the pace today to take the grade one Judd Mott Spinster trophy presentation upcoming race eight official. Now the trophy presentation, Dr. John Chandler presents to Mr. Garrett O'Rourke for the grade one Judmont Spinster. Himalaya takes down the Judmont Spinster for Judmont Farms, trained by Bill Mott and ridden by Mike Smith. Mike, uh, the last time we saw Himalaya, you were taking her right to the front to win the Ashland. Today, come from dead last to win the Judmont Spinster. Tell us about the trip and what happened. You know, just recently, uh, for some odd reason, she's been wanting to come from, from out of it, you know, and, and uh, you know, game plan was to, if we did get away well, you know, try and, you know, ride her out of there, jump her to and see where we're at, and if you didn't, just sit back there and make one run, and, and so we had to go to plan B, and it really worked. Uh, if anything, like we, me and Bill were talking, it, it would certainly keep her around a whole lot longer. At least you don't have to do all the running up the front end and keep, keep it going. I mean, it's a great way to race if we can continue to do this. Did it surprise you that she had that strong a kick? You know, you, I mean, you're always concerned, you know, when you get away, but halfway down the backside, I, I, I tested her a little, and she yeah. was full of run. I knew I was okay. Congratulations. I know you got a run. Thank you. Thank you. Bill, congratulations to you. Were you a little bit worried when you saw her dead last? Well, it was, you know, uh, reminiscent of a, a couple of her past races where she's taken herself back a little. She hasn't broken as well as what she did in the spring. And, of course, you could see we planned it, tapping her on the shoulder, <laughs> leaving there. And then, <laughs> and then we decided to go back to last. So I guess that's, uh, they don't always do what you think they're going to do. But the good thing was that she came with a big run. And, you know, Mike, you know, uh, went to the alternate plan and the only thing he could do. And that's ride her from where she, where she broke and where she settled in. And, and uh, I, I guess we've got to do it their way once in a while. <laughs> a win in your end race for the distaff. Uh, your plans? Uh, no plans at this point, obviously. I guess we'll have to wait and talk to all the bosses and see. All right, congratulations. Emollient takes down the Judmont Spinster.